Welcome back, travelers, to Legendary Lore, where today we are now with camera again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe, have you ever visited the Dross Pits of Phyrexia? Ooh, what is what? So, the Dross Pits of Phyrexia is the black aligned area. That's where Shaldred basically has her domain, as well as the rest of the, of the Steel Thanes, which are basically like these sub bosses, like Geth, um, uh, Vraz. There's, there, there's several of them that are actually in this new set where. They basically revealed how they look. Now, with that said, this story takes place from Ixhil's perspective. Ixhil is a Phyrexian angel that was created by Atraxa. Oh, that's cool. So Atraxa is considered to be, she's called the Grand Unifier. She's still only four colors because they just don't care about red. But essentially... Her last story is like, yeah. <laughs> we went through all this. So Atraxa basically is perfect. And she's seen as the paragon of what it means to be completed. So she represents Phyrexia at its core, like almost a soul of Phyrexia. Although that would be an artifact creature. Hmm. So basically what happens is that she creates Ixil. Ixil is obviously an inferior form of herself. That's why it lacks the blue. It's green, black, white. Mm -hmm. However, Ixil is considered to also be one of her greatest assassins. She just sends her out and she kills whatever she needs to. And she does it all the time. She kills Mirans regularly. But this time, she's been sent to the Dross Pits because of an extremely annoying Phyrexian. One that has blasphemed against the Mother of Machines. Oh no. She sends them out to kill Gath. Really? Yes. So, for anyone that doesn't really know, because we didn't, we, uh, maybe you are only watching these for your story substance, Geth is a character from the original Mirrodin novels. He, at the time, he was actually already a Lich Lord. He was already a zombie. Yes. Um, and he was essentially a head on a like a corrupted body, and he gets beheaded over and over and over again. And if you don't sleep him, he's just a pure silver card. Oh my gosh! We had a friend who played Geth. He got a foil Geth. He was so happy about it. We weren't happy about it because he didn't have he didn't buy sleeves. He didn't think sleeves were worth it. So yeah, he the whole Geth started just fading off the card, and eventually he just had a pure silver card. It was so bad. It was like a power glove. Anyways. So basically, Geth uh, is this character who's gone through these changes over and over and over again. In the uh, Scars of Mirrodin set, you saw Geth, uh, and he basically was a head on this giant, like, zombie body. Yes. And then now we see Geth, and he's got, like, a spider body kind of thing going on in his newest iteration. He's the Thane of Contracts. So he's basically shadow dreading. Yeah, well, that's one of the main things is that in, in each of the different regions people react to the colors differently. We probably could have done an entire episode just talking about the culture of Phyrexia. Oh, if we didn't have wings coming, we could have. It's true. So, basically, all of this happens, and they refer to him as Traitor, like the Geth Traitor. And so, Traitor Geth. Traitor Geth. So I was going to say that, and I was like, that sounds like Traitor Joe's. I'm not going to say <laughs> that. That's dumb. It's Traitor Joe. Hmm? Wait, Legendary Lord. Tell us about the glory of Phyrexia. Uh, the what? The About the story of Phyrexia. Oh, okay, cool. So, basically what is happening is that Ixel goes and she finds this door. And the door has like a puzzle box on it and like these little like musical notes and stuff. It's like a weird puzzle that makes no sense. And she's looking at it and she's like, what is this? <laughs> what, like, why does this thing exist? And there's this, there's this little guy, a little aspirant. An aspirant is basically a person that still looks basically human but is Phyrexian. Also a messed up thing, I don't know why, but it looks like almost every other species got completed except for humans. Wow. Cause like, I guess because humans are so diverse, there were a small enough amount of them from each of the different groups that survived. But there's basically no Vidalcan, there's almost no Luxodon, there's very few elves. Thrun is the last troll still. That's not new. It's true, it's very true. <laughs> but yeah. That's basically what happens here. So this little little guy shows up and he's like, okay, look, I can help you. And she's like, well, how, like, just tell me how to do it or I'll kill you. Because like, no, no, don't kill me. Help you. I help you. You know, kill me. I help you. And she's like, what if I just kill you and I open up the thing anyways? He's like, because he reveals, he's like, well, the door's connected to me. She's like, so if I kill you, it opens. He goes, well, technically, yes. But I don't want you to kill me. And that's literally like an entire 
Like, if it, this were in book form, it would be like two or three pages of that <laughs> exchange going on. It's very fun to read through. It's it's a cool way of characterizing these two. Oh, these it's two. like Ace Attorney. We were talking about how we, we want to do Ace Attorney, but we need a lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time. A lot of time. So, the name of this little guy is Balaxis, okay? And so, Balaxis is a Phyrexian, but he's a lower level Phyrexian that hasn't been fully completed. That's what they're called aspirants. So the idea is that you can become a Phyrexian, but you don't necessarily become completed until afterwards. So you're aspiring to become completed. Exactly. And a good example of that would be a Johnny. He was a sleeper agent. He looked normal. He looked just kind of how he should have, right? And then essentially what happens to him is that he is turned into a Phyrexian. I mean, it's referred to as completion, but he doesn't look the way he does until he gets to New Phyrexia and Elish Norn completes him. Wow. Where he gets his white armor and his like it's fused to his body and everything, and he looks fully Phyrexianized, that's him truly completed. And they use his actual skin instead of him just being endoskeleton as a Phyrexian. Exactly. So that's the main thing there. Actual skin. Yes. Yeah. So. It's like, you said his skin tears off and the Phyrexian is underneath him. Yeah. You gotta get underneath it. So basically, she takes uh, like Balaxis. flipping a boat. Balaxis helps them, and the, uh, she is able to. Uh, Ixel is able to get into the whole deal, and we see that the entire thing is just basically waiting for her. She goes through all these different uh, different chambers, and then we see the head. What, what you looking for? I'm also doing research. Cool. You got to get underneath it. I don't remember what he was trying to get underneath. You can keep doing Phyrexia. I'll research SpongeBob. <laughs> And so basically, Geth is there, and he's like, "Oh, hello! I knew you'd be coming." And she, he basically reveals that the reason he's here is because he doesn't want to, he does like he doesn't want to become a fully Phyrexian. He knows that if he allows himself to become completed, he will lose his will. That's it was how he, he was trying to do push-ups. Cool. He thought SpongeBob was trying to move the ground, so he got underneath it. That is correct. I remember that now. Happy to clarify. Yeah. It was very important to the episode. It really was. So basically what happens is that Geth sends a... F uh, Geth is like, okay, look. You're just a foot soldier. You've been sent to kill me. I'm kind of insulted. I expected Atraxa to show up. Because basically what happened is Elish Nori got tired of Geth. She told Atraxa to do it. And Atraxa's like, okay, Ixel, go do it. And so now Ixel doesn't have somebody to tell her to go do it, so she does it. <laughs> but... At the same time, Geth is just kind of like, look, you're a nobody. I can, like, I'll just fight you. I don't care. And so Ixel's just like, she goes to, to try and, like, kill him. And he just goes. Like, he's super lazy about it. He doesn't, he, he just kind of very nonchalantly just bats her away continuously. Because he's a powerful person. Because he's insanely powerful. Because he's essentially like a demon of, of Phyrexia. He's able to make all these contracts. People just kind of like go to him for all the help, and he's just constantly yeah, just shows up. He's in my dream. <laughs> so yeah, essentially what happens is that Geth goes through all of this. They have this big fight, and Ixel does eventually decapitate him. Wow! And so he's dead. Wow! And Ixel's looking at it. She's like, "Wow, that was easy. I did it." She goes, "Why do I feel upset? What is this feeling?" Can't fight this feeling anymore. Basically, Ixel is. Should become Phyrex and you can easily fight your feelings. The thing is, Ixel can't fight her feelings, and so as a result, she's not trying. To so basically, what happens is that Ixel goes and she picks up the head of Geth and takes it with her, and then she goes and finds Balaxis, and Balaxis is like, "Ah, you killed him. Good job," and then she kills him. Now the door won't close. Then she takes both their bodies to the Dominus, the Black Dominus, and through that she completes Vishagras. Wow, that's a card too. Yes. Gets head, blacks his body. Yes. This whole story was about her wanting to have somebody to tell it to do stuff. Sort of. So the next time something comes up, Elishnorn's going to tell Atraxa to do it. She's going to tell her to do it, and then she's going to tell. <laughs> Relaxes to do it. <laughs> so so basically what happens is that she she has this completed thing and she's so proud of it because she created something. She had been created specifically to destroy. That was her purpose. 
but she wanted more than that. Oh, like the butter robot. Yes. Mm. And she realized that she could do this. And she was, like I said, super happy about it. She goes, she gets the bot, she, ha she has this new creative thing, and she spends months completing it and making it into something new. And she's so happy that she did it. And she goes through a Trax and she's like, a Trax, a look, just like you, I created something great. It's like, remember me, I'm great. And a Trax a season is like, that's an abomination. Why would you do that? She goes, well, I thought, she goes, why did you think? I you, didn't tell you to do that. Yeah, you weren't created to think you don't have blue in your identity. That's why. Like you were specifically designed to destroy your purpose. Your perfect purpose is destruction, not creation. And it's because of that disconnect that Ixel's like, I don't know what to do. So Ixel takes Vishagras and is like, okay, let's go. And so she's walking back to the Dross Pits to leave Vishagras there. Mm -hmm. And while they're going, Vishagras is like, I told you that you needed to, you couldn't, like, you wouldn't, the tracks wouldn't understand. And she realizes that Vishagras is actually speaking with Geth's voice. And that, that was something Geth had told her. Geth survived completion. <laughs> He's a completely different person, but he retained all his memories. Yeah, the body he had there wasn't even his body, so he just got a new body. Yeah, exactly. He just, he, cause, like, <laughs> He was just so rotted. And so now Geth is completely is fully completed and he's a completely different person. And she just kind of says, okay, but look. still Geth. Yeah, and so she says, okay, look, you can stay in the Dross Pits. You can take over your original area. I'm going to leave you here. And I'm going to go back. He goes, you don't want to stay. You don't have to go back to Atraxa. You can be your own person. You've shown that you have your own way of looking at the world that is unique and special. And she hears that. And, is, and like it's the kind of the difference whenever a person is told like their entire life, you have, you're, you're this one thing. Be the bad guy. Yeah, like you're this one thing, be this one thing. And somebody's like, you could be something more. And she's like, oh no. And it's cool because in the story, it actually mentions that when she's talking to Atraxa, she feels something move where her heart should be. And so like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the idea, like, she's literally a Phyrexia and she has no heart. She's... Atraxa didn't put a heart there, though. That'd be a terrible design. But yeah, essentially, Ixel is just this, this... It's supposed to be this object, and she wants to be more. And that's just an, an awesome way for the story to end. It ends with her saying that she can't leave her place, her station, just yet. But that someday she might. I hope we get a story next time. <laughs> Elish Norn tells the Traxa to do something, and then she tells Ixel to do it, and then she tells Vishagras to do it. <laughs> and then we get a fifth one, and then the next one, Vishagras tells that one to do That'd be so dumb. But I yes. would love that chain. I love repetition like that. that. That would be an awesome chain. What I'm hoping is that these characters that are set up, we might have a chance to see them in M March of Machines. March of Machines, I'm hoping, has a ton of story for us to just stir apart, because there's going to be so many things happening that we need it. But yeah. That was just the, the Phyrexian side story. It was a ton of fun to go through. Next up, we're going to be actually looking at how the the, the Planeswalker Strike team is doing. Ooh, so like main, main story. Yeah, main story happening. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and catch you guys next time with some more legendary lore. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to catch more legendary lore. You need to find out about the glory of Phyrexian. Story. That's what I said. <laughs>